Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday's Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. I feel like this week is flying by um, and I think it's just because I've been so busy <laughs> because otherwise it's really just going by at a normal pace um, because after all the clock doesn't spin any faster. But I uh, didn't have a project for today so I just grabbed a whole bunch of random stuff. As you can see I'm in a new spot um, in my stamp room because I have a million projects everywhere. Um, and if you saw, I actually even pulled out my um, card table and popped that up because, I mean, I needed more space. You know, three tables and multiple workspaces obviously just wasn't enough. So I um, pushed some things over and made myself a corner and um, here I am doing daily dose of stamping therapy with you guys. So welcome. Um, if you're on, say hello. I want to give you a shout out and say hello to you back. And um, that also helps me know that we're actually doing this um, because sometimes I just don't know. You would think after doing this for like six weeks or something, I uh, would have it down. But, you know, sometimes I just forget to hit go live. <laughs> and I really don't want to talk here and make cards and um, and not have anybody on. So... Um, so go ahead and say hello so that I can give you a shout out. Uh, what I pulled today was, um, first I actually started with my designer paper. This designer paper is the Bird Ballad designer paper. Um, springy floral has some good bird prints. Um, I have a decent amount of it. Um, lots of this print, probably because I was saving it for that perfect project and Come to find out, I just never used it, but like that print is super gorgeous. Um, so I thought I would do that and I kind of looked at my card stash and like thank you slash um, just, you know, like any sort of like generic greeting is actually what I'm lacking the most, probably because I use those the most. I send thank you notes to all of my customers um, that have ordered from me uh, throughout the month. So every month, then I send them a card. Um, and so a lot of times I pull from that like all occasion, you know, like a greeting like the world needs more of you or your friendship means the world to me or we're the best of friends or thanks for being you. Stuff like that. Like, you know, your generic um, greetings. But then also thank you, hello, stuff like that. Um, so I am going to move some more things out of the way. Because, yeah, I feel like I have a giant screen and, like, you can actually see my entire workspace. So, we're going to use the Free as a Bird stamp set. It's not retiring. Woo, woo. Um, but the designer paper is and the embellishments that I'm using are also retiring um, because I wanted to use those up uh, as we have been doing over the last couple of days. So, I looked at the back of the designer paper pack. Not that pack, but this one. And it has the name of the um, the paper on there and, you know, a little Stampin' Up! logo and a couple other random things. But it also lists the colors that are in the pack, which I'll just read them off to you. Basic Black, Basic Gray, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, Soft Suede, and Whisper White. Um, I picked Whisper White, Pool Party, and Calypso Coral. So I picked those ink colors. Um, when I color, a lot of times I like to use basic gray because I like that softer look instead of such a dark, black, bold outline. Um, so that was my ink color that I picked. And then I picked a few Stampin' Blends. So I have Daffodil Delight, um, Bermuda Bay, Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, and Calypso Coral. So a nice little arrangement of that. And then my... Um, the, this color is not going to work. I thought maybe mint macaron, but nope, that's not going to work. Um, but I do have some of that petal pink uh, ribbon if I want a little bling, but this might be like a softer project, which is why I got the burlap braided trim. And I also snagged a couple of these um, that were in my retiring embellishments kit, goodie bin, whatever you want to call that. So let's get started. Let's make some cards and um, and see what we can come up with before nap time. I wish it was my nap time, but um, no, 
Actually, Claire slept in really late today, and so the day has kind of been completely thrown off because we're all like a little bit behind. So the day is actually like flying by. This day is actually flying by <laughs> um, because I slept late this morning. So now I'm just going to pick some cardstock colors. So I can either do uh, the same thing that I did yesterday where I do that four by four square on the bottom. And if you do the four by four square with a 12 by 12 sheet, you use every single inch of it, which makes me super happy. Um, but I also thought maybe I would um, stamp and punch the greeting and do like a little bird or a little flower or something like that. So I grabbed the label me um, fancy or label me lovely. I always want to call that one fancy. And I also have the everyday label punch. So just some of my favorite punches. Um, I really like the coordinating um, dies that go with this that have like a stitched. They're like the dies that like have the points on the end and then they're straight across. I hope you guys are seeing this. That's what it looks like. Um, and it's got the little stitching all around it. So, or actually it's more like dots, not stitching um, all around it. And they're super, super fabulous. Um, but like die cutting and doing that with you guys here just takes too long. So um, I'm not doing that um, today. If anyone's on, give me a shout out. I haven't seen anything in the comments yet. So I'm just a little nervous that maybe this isn't live. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's get started. I think I'm going to do some of this paper because I absolutely love it. And um, normally, normally, I don't do um, like a full card front of designer paper because the math leaves a lot of leftovers. But because I want to use up this paper anyway and I don't really care and I can throw the little scraps in my scrap bin, then um, because it's retiring anyway, then, hi Beth, welcome. Okay, good. I know that we are all good now and at least someone is watching me. So I'm not talking to myself. Um, so I'm gonna cut these as four inches by five and a quarter. It leaves this little bit left over. You know what I'm gonna do with that. Put that on the inside. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut all of that this way. Even if I don't use it all um, in this version, then I'll still have them already cut for another day. Or the person who gets the scrap piece, they can do it like that. So I did also want to let you guys know that these are all like basic cards. Paying your bills and watching. Well, I'm glad I can entertain you while you're doing that because that's no fun. Um, but yeah, I um, I normally do, like I do like a simple card, but I also like to foo-foo it up every once in a while. And these have definitely been simple cards because I want to be able to um, complete them with you guys here on, um, on camera. And so I don't want to do something that's going to take a long time and... Um, and to be honest, I can't like on the fly do something like this and do it really detailed um, because I just don't have all my supplies and I would be getting up and getting stuff and things like that. So um, I do like quick and simple cards because I think they're just as fabulous, uh, but I do kind of miss doing more more like detailed techniques and, and foo-foo stuff like that, um, which is, I guess, technically what I'm doing in um, all my other projects that I'm working on right now. So right now I'm working on um, another virtual class. So the one I'm working on now is masculine cards. Um, and then of course for a Father's Day theme, if you would like Father's Day cards. So I think I'm just gonna add the designer paper on the front and then I'm just gonna punch and add the greeting um, image on top of that. So I'm just layering this directly on. I like the um, the pool party because I feel like it gives a soft, subtle like look to these flowers, like sort of like the sky, like going with either like 
the sky or the grass so that your flowers can kind of steal the show with the color. Um, but I'm sure it also looks fabulous on the coral and it probably makes certain flowers pop a little bit more. So let's just try one of those out. Hi, Nancy. Welcome. Also, um, I can't wait. Um, my new catalog pre-order is supposed to be arriving today. I really wanted to wait and do this when that arrives, um, but I don't know that I trust it. You know, my tracking number says it's out for delivery, but, you know, that can always change. And I don't know when it's going to show up, and so I just thought I'd go ahead and do this today. So planning on tomorrow will be my um, unboxing and reveal of new catalog product. So let me know which one do you guys like. Do you like Calypso Coral or the pool party one? They definitely have, like, two totally different looks. Like, this one's a little bit more, like, in your face or like loud and then this one's just like soft and look at these pretty flowers um but yeah it's so crazy how just the difference of a color um can make like it's it's just nuts because both of these colors are in the flowers there's coral flowers and there's pool party flowers um so it's not like I'm you know shouting out you at you with you know a different color like you know magenta or something like that I can't wait for you guys to all see the magenta madness. You like the coral better? Maybe I should do more coral. I only have two more of these, so the rest will be coral. Everybody cast your votes. Let me know if you like coral or pool party. I'll post it up again. I love reading your guys' comments. I love even going back like days later. So like even if you um, are watching the replay or anything and, um, and commenting, I still go back through my comments. So leave me a comment. I love it. Um, okay, so now we're going to take, let's pick our greeting first maybe because I think I'm going to do this one only because it's bigger. And I am going to use a full sheet of Whisper White. This does kind of hurt a little bit to do that because normally I just use my scraps, but I know I'll be making a whole bunch of these and I didn't want to bring my entire desk over here. So I just grabbed a full sheet, but it's very rare that I actually use a full sheet um, to punch out greetings or things because I'm always using my scraps. So I think we're going to go with I don't know how much of this birdie would show up on this little image. Oh, it would be super cute if I just do that little bit. And you know what I forgot? Clear blocks. So, hold on. I knew I would forget something. So I really only need this one little birdie because that's all I'm going to stamp. He is, like, see how he's broken up from the other birdies? Which always kind of makes me think, like, aw, the poor little, like, outsider birdie. But he's okay. He's still loved. And you know what? He's loved so much that because he's off to the side, I'm using him and not the other three. So... Oh, that's so fabulous. So I just stamped just him. And then I still should have room for a greeting, which this one I might just do just plain thank you. Um, because, like I said, those are the cards that I need. Ah! And it's not even colored yet, but I'm already loving it. Let me make sure my... Um, you like the coral too? Okay, so I guess I'm all alone with liking the other one. I mean, I like the coral, but I actually think I like the pool party better. Oh, 
Okay, so there's all my thank yous. And kind of wish I had a scrap piece only so that, like I don't mind stamping on my um, tablecloth, but if it doesn't soak in all the way, it's gonna end up showing up on my next project. Of course, the question of the day is always, what's everyone having for supper? And we are super branching out. And I'm making homemade biscuits and we are going to have breakfast. So I don't think I'm making biscuits and gravy, um, but we're just gonna do like egg and sausage and cheese, um, like biscuit sandwiches. Um, so yeah, that's the plan and it's just totally different than what we have been eating. So I'm super excited about that. Okay. So I think for the flower, I actually think I'm going to pull in some yellow and do the daffodil delight on the flower. Multiple flowers actually. And then I feel like I need to see a picture of this bird because I kind of don't know what's bird and what's not. Oh, yeah, because that's, you know what I forgot to bring over was like a tan and a green. I knew I would forget a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, and then I'll do this as his beak, I think. Homemade pot pies. That sounds amazing. Um, the Stamparatus meatloaf, people in their meatloaf, you guys are all crazy. Okay, sorry, I'm back again. Um, meatloaf. Okay, so you're not crazy. Um, I just find it so weird that so many of you guys have been eating meatloaf during this. Like, do people always eat meatloaf or is that just because we're home and we're cooking and stuff like that? Because um, I really just didn't think meatloaf was such a popular meal until Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. And it's super popular. Um, and I it like it boggles my mind. And how many of you guys say meatloaf? Like I would say even out of like takeout and pizza and like everything, meatloaf is the number one thing uh, through all of this um, daily dose of stamping therapy. And that's just like, I would have never guessed it. Like if I would have said to Brad, you know, oh, what's the number one food that everybody's always having on daily dose of stamping therapy? He would probably say something like, you know, pizza or um, take out or, you know, something like that, but it definitely wouldn't be meatloaf. And so that's, um, it just, it's funny, which is why I ask because it's so interesting to, um, to hear what you guys are all doing. So I did a little, um, oh, so back to the Stamparatus, would it be easier? Um, maybe yes, no. Um, so I do a lot of winging it unless I know that, um, meatloaf is comfort food. Okay, I can totally see that for sure. I know mashed potatoes are comfort food for me. Like, like I don't know, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, like so comfort food. Um, but I just feel like meatloaf's not easy, but maybe it's because I've never made it. Um, but anyway, I could use the Stamparatus on this, but um, by the time I made my little template to stick my tag in and then lined it up and stamped it, like I'm fine just winging it because like I could always stamp another one. I'm not like that concerned about the placement of it. And um, and I just wung it and did a pretty good job. So I'm not really that worried about it. Um, but yeah, you can see the little background there um, because it's on my tablecloth. I just don't wanna flip over my birdie to like adhere him after I color him so perfectly and then find out it got all over him. So I did, um, I did the beak with the dark daffodil delight. I did the flowers with the light daffodil delight and I did the belly with Calypso coral. 
So now I'm going to take, mm, I'm going to take light crumb cake, I think. Dark crumb cake scares me. Um, and I'm going to finish coloring the birdie and I'm going to go into, okay, no, I need dark. It's always best to start with light and move up to dark than it is to start with dark and wish you went light. So, so I'm going to color my birdie and I'm also going to go into that, um, that Calypso coral area too, to blend it a little bit. Okay, so that's what he looks like. And then now I need, I'm gonna do the light for the branch. Or maybe I'll do the soft suede. Let's do soft suede for the branch so it like stands out separately. And I don't know, I just grabbed green this is light old olive, and we'll do that for the leaves. Okay, now I feel like my birdie looks maybe a hair too dark, but maybe Maybe he's just right, I don't know. But there is my little birdie. And so that one, ooh, I feel like it washes out a little too much. Maybe I'm going to punch a second one. Cut it in half. Couldn't find my scissors there for a minute. And pop it up with the color on the background. This will help it stand out a little bit more. And then I still don't feel like it pops much because this paper is kind of loud. And then what I like to do with this braided trim is unbraid it on the ends and make it kind of foo-foo-y. And I'm doing it off to the side because it sheds. Okay, so I just kind of, you know, ratty tatty did it up a little bit. And then now I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals. I didn't forget those. And I'm going to do like three on the top and three on the bottom, leaving the center open. But I'm actually going to add a little adhesive down the center because that's where that ribbon is going to go. So I'll add just a hair of adhesive on my card. And then, oh, I have to peel the backs off of my dimensionals or that's not going to stick. Of course, we've also been celebrating moms all week. So a thank you note would be perfect for a Mother's Day card because you want to thank your mom for everything that she's done. But yeah, so a shout out to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day. Um, may you all celebrate and have a wonderful day, week, year. Um, and of course, a happy shout out to all of our teachers and nurses this week as well. So there is the first one. I feel like the greeting doesn't pop as much as I wish it did. Um, but it does a little bit. So let me know what you think I should do to change it up. 
I'm gonna color the next one just a little differently just to mix that up a little bit. Um, I think we're gonna do some coral flowers. And we're gonna go with some dark colors. So I'm using dark, oh wait, what color is this? Oh, this is light granny apple. Okay, that works, I guess. I think it still matches. And then I think I want my branch to look a little bit lighter so that it doesn't eat his feet. His feet kind of looked like they disappeared. Yeah, this one you can totally see the feet now. And still gonna do his beak with the dark yellow. And I think I might just, well, there goes the dark yellow. Um, I might use some light soft suede and maybe some dark crumb cake. So I'm just going to like put a little smush of the light soft suede and then I'm going to color in all with the dark crumb cake. So it's just gonna give a little bit of a um, extra color to his belly. That you can kinda of see, you kinda of can't see. And then this one, I think I'm also going to do with the Calypso Coral. Um, as the background, but this one's going to go on the pool party. Although this totally matches with the flowers on there. Um, done in the Calypso Coral. So we'll do the dimensionals again on the top and on the bottom. I feel like I don't have any like crazy stories for you guys today. I need some topics. Dave just brought in the mail. Ah. I'm glad you enjoyed your happy mail. That was like fast, I feel like. But now I'm kind of confused as to when um, when my happy mail all went in the mail. Because, oh, I guess it is Thursday now. And that came, my stamps came on Tuesday. I don't know what day it is anymore. So this one, you know how I talked yesterday about cutting off the spool? So this one, instead of just winging it and cutting, I went ahead and like placed it on there, left some on either ends, and then now I'll do that same little like fraying technique. I don't know that it's a technique, I'm just pulling it apart. Ooh, I have a good question for all of you guys. What has been your favorite Mother's Day gift? I know two years ago, I was really hoping my Mother's Day gift was going to be Claire's arrival. Um, as I was due the Friday after Mother's Day. So I was like, it's okay if you come early. Instead, she came late, but still a wonderful Mother's Day gift that for the month. Um, but yeah, let me know what your best Mother's Day gift has been. A lot of times we always did like plants and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear um, the one that, you know, meant the most or melted your heart or whatever it might be.
So there's that one. I don't know. I feel like I like the birdie, but I feel like I'm not sold on it. It's like it brings in some brown that I don't care for because there's no brown in the rest of the card. Um, but you can let me know. I think you can see these. Yeah, now you can still see them. You can't really see what I'm working on, um, but you can still see those. Maybe I should do like a little blue bird and make the bird blue instead of, um, I'm gonna use light Bermuda Bay for the belly and then I'm gonna color in with dark pool party. I don't know why I think all the birds need a darker belly, but who knows? Maybe it makes them feel better. You know, kind of like the saying, if you can't tone it, tan it. And we'll do that same yellow beak. That's one of the things I'm consistent on. I feel like the yellow beak is nailing it. And then maybe I'll do two different colored flowers. I'm going to do, you like it in the middle of the card rather than off to the side. Okay. I think I'm going to do the light coral and the light yellow. So two different color of flowers instead of both the same. And I don't really know that I like that granny apple, granny, granny apple green. Yes, granny apple green. I wanted to call it granny smith apple. Usually you get one gift to cover both. That's kind of like people who have birthdays in December. They get like a joint gift. I wanted this bench, so I told Brad he could get that for our anniversary and for Mother's Day. Ooh, I think I like the little bluebird better. Either that or I like the, um, well, I feel like I need to blend his belly a little bit more. I like the multicolored flowers too, instead of the same ones. Okay, I feel like I blended his belly much better that time. And then this one, I think I'm going to do in pool party just to mix it up. Maybe I'm not. Nope, I don't have any pool party cardstock left. But I wonder if I could use this. You love the bluebird? I do too. I think I like him better. I'm going to try. Instead of punching a full one, I'm just going to punch two halves down along the bottom. I don't know if it's going to look weird. Like you can still kind of see like the, the bird pattern peeking out a little bit. I think I'm still going to go with it because I'm not going to waste any of it. And it was an idea. We'll try it out. See how it goes. Becky, I absolutely love that silhouette that you did of Cam. It was so cute. And then I think I'm going to use a different ribbon. I don't know that I like that burlap ribbon as much as I thought, but I feel like this one's too foo-foo-y. But we're going to try it. 
scissors. Just a little bit peeking out from either side. Perfect. You did it on the Cricut. So how did you get his like silhouette? Just like shine a light and like snap a picture or? The one thing I've been wanting to do is I wanna do um, the cutouts of all of our hands, Brad's, mine and Claire's and stack them and do that like quarantine something, something. We survived it together or something like that. Um, but yeah, I've been really wanting to do that and I feel like I need to hurry up um, because if if I wait and we open back up, then it's going to be like the moments past. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely need to do that. Okay, so this is going to go on a blue one and we said we liked the middle better. Okay, what do we think about this one? I feel like I like it. The ribbon kind of adds like a little extra bling um, that I actually think I like. It's not too much because it's just peeking out of either side. Okay, so you took an actual picture of the photo or of, of his profile. Okay, interesting. So yeah, um, I definitely like the Bluebird a lot better. Like I'm looking at like all three of them together. Um, and I feel like the bluebird looks a lot better than the brown one does. Um, and then the ribbon, I'm not sure which one I like. So let's see. I'm going to add this right there. So I have two more. So we obviously want to do the bluebird because we like him the best. So I'm using my Stampin' Blends. And I'm using light Bermuda Bay in the middle. So I just kind of did like a little smooshy of it. And then now I'm going to color in and go over that dark center and color in the entire birdie. And by going over all of that, it helps blend it all together so I don't have a smooshy. That is the technical term. So are you guys just all quiet today or did no one get a good Mother's Day gift that they're willing to share? Last year I got a bird feeder, which I need to find. I think it's in the garage. Um, I remember thinking when we first moved in that like, oh, next spring we need to like pull out the cars and um, like reorganize the garage. Um, not that it's not, but like there's shelves and there's stuff just on the shelves and I would like to categorize the shelves um, because, well, come on, you know me. I'm an organizational freak uh, and I really like to do that. And yeah, haven't had a chance to do that yet. Probably because my car is like, no, I'll just stay here. No, actually, she's probably like, get me out of here. What did I do wrong? Definitely got that whole um, 30 gallons to the week going on, or a, a gallon a week, whatever that is. It's not like miles per gallon it's like time frame per gallon something like that I've I've ruined the joke I'm sorry my husband is the one who said it and, and it's funny but I ruined it not a comedian although we have been watching a comedian um a couple comedian skits lately because they're funny Do you guys like comedian skits or not? I feel like it's one of those things, like if it's a good one, I like love it. But if it's a bad one, I'm like, this is so not worth my time. Oh, 
Oh no, it's 110. What was I thinking? Jeez. Okay, I'm wrapping up this one. This one I accidentally did in a dark yellow flower, but that's okay. Maybe I should do the dark calypso coral too. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, so here's my two birdies and I will be adding those on. I might find some more ribbon um, and then I'll share those with you tomorrow. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Happy Thursday. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think and don't forget to let me know what you're having for supper or what your favorite Mother's Day gift is. I'll see you guys all later. Happy stamping. Love, hugs, and prayers to all of you. Bye-bye.